Hello guys, Angry Weasel here with another 5 tips for new players in Path of Exile. Tip number 1. Vendors and Item Levels Each time you level up, the item stock from the vendors change, so it might be a good idea to check these out if you need something specific. You can also get 6 socket items from the vendors, even 5 link and 6 link items, though that is very rare. The thing most players search for at the vendors is 6 socket items and chromatic items. Chromatic items is linked blue, red, green in any order. Here is a list over when you can get the different number of sockets. Six sockets will be available from the Act 3 Cruel Vendor, so when passing level 50 and you have access to that act, be sure to check it at every level. While you check for six socket items, check the same vendors for chromatic items that is sold for one transmute. This might not be the most lucrative thing to do, but it will help you early on in the league getting chromatic orbs and jeweler orbs. Tip number two, Bright Lake farming. Bright Lake is the first in-game farming zone before maps. It's just outside of the Egg 4 town on the left side. In normal and cruel, you usually just farm it for levels and maybe for a few items for yourself. But when you get to Merciless, it becomes a great farming area since it's very open and contains a boss. There is a small chance that the boss in the area wall can drop the Brittle Emperor Divination card, which is usually very sought after. I find the best way to clear Dried Leg is to stick to the left wall all the way around and just kill everything in sight. If it takes too long to kill Vol, just skip him until you have more damage, since it often won't be worth the hassle to waste minutes on him when you could just as well have cleared another Dried Leg. Tip number 3. Chaos Recipe the Chaos Recipe can be used on items with item level over 60. There's two ways you can use the Chaos Recipe. One, identified items, which grants you one Chaos Orb. Or two, unidentified items, which grant you two Chaos Orbs. For the recipe, you need a full set of items, so that means one amulet, two rings, one body armor, one helmet, one belt, one pair of boots, one pair of gloves, and weapons. You can use one two-handed weapon or two one-handed or even two shield works. Of course, the unidentified recipe nets you the most, but it's a gamble since you might be throwing away items that could be worth more. It's up to you if you want to make that gamble. What I would suggest is using the, uh, the unidentified recipe with bad rings and amulet bases such as power ring, unset ring, iron ring, coral amulet, power amulet, since those bases in most cases lower the value of the items. You still need all the items to be unidentified, but I personally don't like to gamble with good ring and amulet bases. Tip number 4. Map Farming Map Farming is a great way to farm since you can get special item bases from specific maps they can only obtain from those maps unless you buy them from another player. Also maps can be sold to other players, this is going to be a big income for players in Atlas of Worlds since a lot of players want to farm specific maps for certain item bases or good XP layouts. A nifty little trick is having a skill linked with calling strike support and item rarity support gem for map bosses. Just use it when the boss is at 10% life left. Tip number 5. Future farming possibilities. For a new player this kind of farming can be out of reach for a while, but it's always good to know what you can aim for later on. For in game farming there is a Siri, Uber Labyrinth, the Pale Court and finally the Shaper and his 4 Guardian who each drop unique items that only they can drop. I hope these tips has helped you out and if you want to see other videos about Path of Exile, be sure to hit the subscribe button and comment about what other Path of Exile content you want to see. This has been Agri Weasel, have a great day guys, bye!